We're out here in Austin, Wisconsin this weekend. My dad found some awesome land to ride trials, built a cabin, and I'm out here with Alex Myers. We got Dave Roper running the uh, leaf blower up there. We ended up getting about an inch of snow last night. Temperatures dropped probably 20 degrees and it went from fall to winter real quick, but we're out here just cleaning some lines, trying to get some good riding in anyways. Give him the ice. So I've ridden that line in the dry, but then this tree fell down, changed the timing completely. The ground is really hard to judge right now, hard to stand in line. And it developed two ruts, one good, one bad, and it was really hard to get to the good one. So, got some cleans. Alex, you want to try it? I don't blame him if he doesn't. I didn't make it look very easy. You're going to be catching, I guarantee you. At least once. <laughs> so I found this line was much better. When I messed up, I did it here, and then I didn't have quite as much drive. So that kicker's a little closer. Off. You're kind of squaring off the log. So you, were, so you weren't you landing on that rock and giving power on the, the I mean, the log. You weren't giving power on that at all. You weren't really giving power just, at all up there. Yeah, I was all trying to get it here and then light all the oh way up and God. try to time each one a bit, but it's just the last one. Like you can get a lot of speed here, but you can lose it all at the very top, so you gotta yeah. try to it's soak it up and keep it moving up and forward. You sound like third on that. Third, yeah. yeah. And then the takeoff kind of pushes you, like you slide on that root, and it pushes you left, so you gotta be careful not to, like the times I messed up and hit that, it was all because of that root pushing me sideways. So you gotta be light over that, and then build a lot right after. Okay. need to be able to find a little more because you got on it a little late and a little too hard right after the log. Yeah, I try to find more at the bottom, which is not easy. I think that's the takeoff you need. You just got to be ready to power it down afterwards. Is it a pass? It's pretty sketch. Move on. That was all covered in snow. There's more traction than you think, but then there's also not very much traction, so you gotta act like there's none and hope that there's some.
you were a bit late on that one. Your front end was pushed down too too far past, and then you had to bring it up. You had no forward, so you almost have to try to wheelie from further back than you think. <coughs> and then it's more you carry more momentum that way. A lot of body, not much motor, but close. <laughs> called the hard rock foot pegs and they break rocks and ice off the pegs. Yeah, Alex, how you feeling? Uh, all right. <coughs> Not too bad getting over a cold, so, you know, just doing my best still. I mean, still, I feel okay. I just, once in a while, I get a coffin fit. <coughs> <laughs> We're out here training with Pat and Alex, trying to get them set up for next season. So we got some technical sections going on, trying to make sure they can hit their points. And then, um, yeah, just keeping it nice and tight and tricky, just so um, if anything comes their way in the nationals, they'll be they'll be ready and ready to clean any section out there. speed so I was pushing way too hard here getting off my line. That last time I just slowed it down a bit, stayed on line, it was much easier. So Alex can get it.
There was no speed right here. And then you knock this down, this log down into my feet. There's the log. It's the log replacement. <laughs> Good save, good yeah. self-minding. Well, You're still just hitting that hole is, is the issue. God, that was better. That was, be that was your best one in a while, but it was yeah. still too much hole. We just finished up a good weekend of riding here in Austin. Had to put in a little bit more effort to get good sections in, but we mixed it up between some technical stuff and some big stuff, and then some big technical stuff, and kind of found my limit on a few things, but now I have some stuff to uh, come back to and try again. It was a great time riding with Alex. He's progressing really well, and looking forward to how well he does next year. And having Dave here to mine for us and make some sections was a great addition and something I definitely took advantage of. He was catching my bike all, all weekend long, so really appreciate the effort everyone put in and had a great time. Overall the weekend went really well. Uh, I learned a lot of things that I you know, didn't quite know coming into the pro class that I'm going to have to know by nationals next spring. And uh, it was a pretty uh, harsh wake up to see uh, how much how much I have to progress to get to the top level where Pat is. Uh, he really taught me a lot of things that uh, I um, should know for the upcoming season and uh, overall just sharpening up my skills. <laughs>